Hope you guys have enjoyed the previous videos by learning in and out of collection framework. Now it's time to learn about another beautiful concepts and interesting topic in Java, which is multi-threading. I heard from many developers saying that multi-threading is one of the toughest topic in Java. The reason behind that is people think like, okay, it is developed by Oracle Java team where it is core level, the language level, and it is very difficult to understand the concepts, how it is actually working internally. So I have taken the toughest topic and split into multiple videos and want to go in and out of each concepts in multi-threading and I want to make you guys feel comfortable in terms of like before appear for any interview as well as coding and also I will go through with the real-time programming so you guys will understand where we really use multi-threading in our real-time programming in our client place. This is one of the short video where I want to explain about what are the different types of models we have in multi-threading in Java. So there are two different types of models we have. One is green thread model, other one is native OS uh, threading model. So we are going to uh, see what it is and how it actually works. So let's get started. Here I want to explain these two different types of models with the same story. So let's say you are going to the courier office and let's say the courier person, the manager is uh, your known person. And uh, since you are going every quite often and he wants to serve you very fast. So he is actually uh, supporting you uh, by without uh, making you wait so that he is actually serving. So this is one type. Let's say uh, you are going to the courier office. Basically, there are some courier manager who is actually coming from some different place where you are not actually known to that person. Then that guy will say, OK, whoever you are, like just wait and we will do as per the process by the company process. So similarly, in JVM, here, here I want to explain here I want to explain these two concepts with the help of a same story. So basically uh, you are placing an order in Amazon and you are getting notified from uh, Amazon saying that uh, the order has been uh, dispatched and it is available in the courier office. Let's say you are going to the courier office and let's say uh, that courier manager, the courier office manager, uh, you know him very well and he knows you very well. So let's say uh, very quite often you are going and getting the parcels and since you guys are known each other, let's say he is supporting you in terms of not, not waiting for a very long time. So the moment you reaches the courier office, he is searching for your particular object or order, the parcel item, and you are getting it quickly without uh, waiting for a long time. So this is one scenario. The other scenario is, let's say, uh, you are placing an order and you are going to the courier office. But unfortunately, that courier office manager is not a, a old person. Let's say someone joined newly to that office and you are not sure, uh, you are not uh, known about that person and that person is also not known about you. So you guys are very new. So what happens is, like if you go and ask the parcel, he will say, Okay, sir, no problem, just wait. So we have a number of things which are already pipeline. So we will do one by one and once you get our parcel, we will let you know. So like that, right? Similarly, I want to explain this uh, two scenario stories with the Java here. So what happens is there are two different types of model we have. So multi-threading concept has been implemented in Java with the help of these two concepts. So basically, this is nothing but there is a one concept called green thread. So green threads are nothing but threads are completely managed by JVM. So in our practical example, what I was explaining, so this is the courier, right? So courier officer manager, right? So that guy is a JVM. So he's dispatching the parcels are based on the courier office manager. So based on the manager, you are actually getting the you know service uh, completely. So he's not following any uh, the company standards, right? So let's say, let's say Solaris. Solaris is a OS. So on the OS, you have a JVM. So the JVM actually uh, runs on the Solaris platform, but the threads are actually managed by only JVM, not by the processor. The other way around, if the threads are actually completely managed by the underlying OS or the processor, it means they are all native OS. So if someone asks you, what do you mean by native OS threading in Java? So native OS means native means the underlying OS, which is nothing but whatever the processor it can be. It can be Windows or it can be uh, Mac or anything, right? So those uh, processor is actually actually managing the entire multi-threading system. Then that particular model, they call it as native OS threading model. If it is actually managed by only the JVM, not uh, the processor, the underlying processor doesn't have any uh, role in that in controlling the thread uh, states as a life cycle then it means that is called green threads so the best example is solaris here the best example is windows or mac or anything so here if i write it here right so the native os means dispatches this parcel as per the courier company standards he won't uh, prefer to serve uh, someone uh, personally or like that right so this is the difference between these two but actually this is not uh, uh, you know uh, recommended we are not using any more on the green thread model all the ways which we are currently using is let's say windows or mac basically actually follows under the underlying processor so this is basically uh, just a difference between these two just a concept we are not going to write any program on this 
but just want you guys to understand how that underlying platform or the processor actually plays a role uh, in uh, managing the life cycle of a thread. I hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly. But still, if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required, please post your comments in the comment section and I will be more than happy to assist. Keep watching all our videos. There are a lot more videos to come. And if you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next interesting video guys.